Okay, so the first one talks about uh, the probability of an event that cannot occur is zero. So if you get zero for a probability, then you should be able to look back at it and think, oh, well, this couldn't happen. Probability of an event that must occur is one. So when you look back at one that has a one, you should say, oh, yeah, this is for sure going to happen. Uh, number three, all probabilities lie in between those two numbers or those numbers. So somewhere between zero and one, or it could be zero or in fact one. The sum of the probabilities of all possible outcomes of an experiment is one. For example, um, the probability of heads, uh, flipping a die and getting heads, is uh, one half. And the probability of getting tails is one half. Those are the only possibilities. So if I add one half and one half, I get one. That's what number four is saying. If you take all the possible probabilities, add them together, you get one. Because one of those has to happen. And then number five says the probability of not A is one minus the probability of A. So like if I tell you A can be anything. So if I tell you that the probability of having a six-sided die and rolling a three is one-six, then the probability of not rolling a three is one minus one-six or five six. Because if you roll a three, you have one out of six chances. To not roll a three, that would be a one, a two, a four, a five, or six. So that's five out of six. But to shorten it down, instead of trying to figure that out, if you know this one, then the probability that this one doesn't happen is just one minus that. So probability of A is two thirds. Figure out the probability of not A and then figure out how those two can relate to each other. We don't know what A is, but that's okay. Okay, so what's the probability that it's not A? One third. One third, good. Yeah, you take one minus two thirds, and we know one is the same thing as three thirds. So yeah, it's one third. So how does one third and two thirds relate to each other? Like if you add them together, it's a whole. Yep. You add them up, you get one. Which should be, because either A or not A is going to happen. Those are your only two possibilities. I'm going to post this assignment here in just a second.
you work on it today, I'm also going to allow you to work on it tomorrow. So you don't have to work on it all today if you don't want to. Thank <laughs> you. 